efforts to close the gap mm. between Indigenous Australians and the rest of the country in a report in the Australian newspaper yesterday, quote, stalled during the voice oh, referendum. Surprise. There you go. So all that effort by the Albanese government and those uh, who are responsible for closing the gap, that means bringing raising the living standards and prosperity of Indigenous Australians. They are the ones now saying, you know what, Labor? All our efforts, you know, well, were stalled by The Voice. Well, so, well done, Labor. You even stuffed that up. Ideology, idiocy and incompetency at every turn. Well, what Rowan, what do you, do? you know, I think that, you know, in some ways, yes, it's bad that The Voice campaign stalled progress on closing the gap. We all want to close the gap. But... Can you just imagine how bad it would be if the voice had actually passed? Absolutely. I mean, like, yeah. you want to talk about something that would stop closing the gap, it would be spending all of this money on this huge bureaucracy that would then go pay itself to go, you know, take reports and do things, interfere with parliamentary legislation and do everything else it was going to do, um, and not actually do anything to close the gap. I mean, you know... Like, this is that was a good result. Let's not forget the fact that this was a very, very good result. It was a result. great result, but Labor are ignoring it. They're just yeah. ploughing ahead in all the different states with their own voices. But the point is, the reality is, that this sort of virtue-signalling, uh, weird left-wing ideological campaign actually has negative impacts on well, Indigenous Australians who are there on the ground and they're the ones calling it out. There you go. We had so much focus in, in recent weeks on the treatment of women, violence against women, so many women being uh, victims of domestic violence in particular. And again, we saw the activist class there be largely silent about the overrepresentation of Indigenous women in those statistics. Now, uh, more than 30 times likely Indigenous women are of being hospitalised due to domestic violence than non-Indigenous women. That is such a shameful incredible statistic that the, the, the stats there are just off the charts and yet there's this hesitancy to to talk about it to, to put it on the record because they they want to I don't know because they think scared of being called racist I don't know if they're scared of uh, being um, pointing the finger at a community who really does need to address this issue but the likes of Jacinta Nampa Jimba Price have talked about this for years and, and they've get also demonized talked about for doing so. they do yeah. but they also talk about how things like the voice the Australia Day debate the flag debate all this nonsense Gets actually in the way. takes yeah. the attention away from the areas where, that where need the, the focus but when do you ever hear these activists Talk about this issue. I would have thought that would be that and the plight of children would be the number one and two issues that you talk yeah, about. You're well, not really suggesting the point the is... left are hypocrites who don't care about the real problems that they pretend to. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think so you might many, be onto something there, The Rita. problem is so many of the, the activists who are, you know, working in the domestic violence space, you know, particularly on the political side of things, you know, it's not so much about solving the problem where there are real problems, mm. but it's doing this whole sort of societal remaking of society. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> tearing down we've, the West we've got, is the we've main got to, We've got to go yeah. and, you know, re-educate... All men, you know, we've got to talk about toxic masculinity. We've got to, you know, do this and that. And it's about that sort of vibe. It's not about actually it, it, going where there's real issues, horrible issues, and solving those hard problems on the ground because it's much more interesting for them to sit in conference rooms and talk about, course. you know, how terrible male oh, society is. We've yeah, got to exactly. remake that. And, and the know. conduct of boys at private oh, yeah. schools. Oh, yeah, boys at private schools. Yeah. 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 yeah, risque jokes. I mean, they're very, very yeah. keen yeah. to draw a direct line between risque jokes and un-PC language and violence against oh, women, yeah. Yeah. but drawing a line between women who are... 30 times more likely to end up hospitalised due to domestic violence and the issue, no, that's too much.